Studios. This, this is After 9 with Scott and Kat. And a happy motherfucking Friday! Welcome to After 9, everybody. It is the final episode of the summer of 2024. After this episode, we take a break until the Tuesday after Labor Day, and then we are full-blown giver right through until the end of next July. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, that. That's true. More or less. I have to believe we said we were going to go so hard in September, and we're still not sure what that means, but you just you wait, and you'll find out. No, I, I think that there's going to be some really good changes for uh, September. I think it's going to be great, and people will love it. You just got to tune in after Labor Day. Dave Blizzard joins us. Hello, hi. David. Oh, hi, friends. How are you? I'm wonderful. Good, good, good. You got yeah. some work to do there? I see you're on your phone. Uh, you going to pay attention yeah. to the show here? He's uh, we'll, we'll see. Part <laughs> taking notes, part answering emails. He's a busy guy. Yeah. All, uh-huh, all uh-huh. Qu- questions, things, watching what's going on in Alberta, in Jasper. Oh, We're getting breaking so news alerts. Like, So for our job, or my job, yeah, I have to spread out that information too. So I'm keeping an eye on everything that's going on. And we'll keep the information going. We're looking to put some links on our websites, too, for people who want to help. Uh-huh. Um, so we're just waiting to get all that stuff ready to go and get that live so people can go and click and make donations if they wish to. Two yeah. things on the fires in Jasper. It, it is such a gorgeous place. One of the most beautiful places on earth. Mm-hmm. And it's in Canada. And it's a real shame what happened with this forest fire. But the way the firefighters described it, I, I try to understand how forest fires work because the simple analogy is, have you ever tried to start a bonfire in the backyard? Uh, yeah. It takes fucking forever for wood to catch fire. Yeah. And I don't understand how these trees, like how one tree can catch another tree 15 feet away on fire in seconds. But I guess it's just because of the pure heat of the fire. The heat, the the wind, all this, everything. Lots that, of factors. That's yeah. what, And that's what firefighters have to deal with all the time is the, the, the fact that it's weather-based in a lot of cases too. It's not fun. It's out of your control, right? They say that this fire was traveling at, it made it five kilometers in 30 minutes. Yeah. That's how quickly this fire moved mm-hmm. in on Jasper. It's nuts. And uh, uh, what was the other thing too? So it was that. And did you watch the premier of Alberta yesterday, Danielle Smith? Mm-hmm. She was really choked up. Like you can tell mm-hmm. she's got an attachment to her province and it's sad what's going on there. But they swear they'll rebuild, which we hope they do. And the animals. God, they have so much beautiful wildlife there too. So it's the animals. It's the history. Yeah. You can't change the mountain landscape and the beautiful water, but... What is going to look different is it was surrounded by trees and now they're all burnt out. So I assume yeah. like there'll if be a, tree, a huge effort. There'll be a massive effort to help that. I think if a tree burns down, do they cut the tree down? Like what's left of it? Or do they just sort of wait for it to fall over? I, I don't know. Like, are they going to go in and replace it? I think you have to, I, I, you have to go in and you dig it up from the roots and replant. Yeah. Like it's an think- active, you have to make an active movement. Hence why they need the money. Obviously to aid people and all that misplacement, but yeah, you have to actually work. To plant it. What are you giving that face for? Nobody's listening to you for gardening advice. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> you don't know if I know how to plant a tree. I'm confident. I know. I don't that. know how to keep a chia pet alive, but I might be able to plant a tree. Should be asking me about this because I know my way around a hoe. Ah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, well. Na, 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 na. It's the motherfucking D-O-W-D. Oh, shit. I gave you a thriving tomato plant and you killed it in a week. I, it's molded too. Wait, like you, amazing. What? On the vine. How did you mold on, on the vine? No, because oh, plants she's don't. She's so bad at this. Plants don't like me. I, I also, I crushed a couple of plants. Crushed? This, well, if, like, it, with metaphorically? My, metaphorically. Oh. Yeah. What did you do? I don't know. I just, it just died. I thought I was doing all the right no, no, things. No, 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 no. Plants don't, don't just die. Yes, I, because I think <laughs> like old this, age. Toma- this tomato plant died of natural causes. Natural causes. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about it. For, well, the, the one from last year, I did forget about it while I went on vacation. Oh. But like, who fucking goes out of their way to like call people to go water their plants when they're away? I don't want to be that person. Lots Literally of, everybody. <laughs> I everybody see. Does. I don't want to do that. So that's why I'm like, I'm out. I can't. You I know, don't want to call someone and be like, Hey, Dave, do you think you and your wife can come by my house and water my plants? I and would. He gladly would. I would. Oh, I I'm like I a would. fucking loser. Why? I don't know, because I feel like that's so much work for, and trouble for someone to go into that's not their plants. I'm shocked she doesn't have a service that comes and waters her plants for her. Yeah, I know. In her neighborhood? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. It should come with the property or something. Yeah. Somebody comes in and takes oh. care of your garden. You should, you should see the, my, my garden's not good right now. They should now. have the it's gate code and everything. <laughs> Key to the underground parking, everything. You Someone asked. Shut up. <laughs> don't tell people that I live in no, a rich no, 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 <laughs> D- no. But uh, the chia. I don't pets. want poor people to figure out where I live. <laughs> <laughs> Saw someone who makes Shut less than seventy grand are, in my neighborhood. Okay. Don't listen to them, guys. Don't listen to a word. A word. <laughs> 
don't listen to a fucking word they and, say. And when you live at Cat's house, you live far enough from everyone, you can't hear a word it's they true, say. It's true. It's great. Yeah. It's just total... Yeah. The like, giant lead up to the front door. Like, you... Okay. Shut the fuck up. They're just making shit up. You could be... You have to be in another... Like, you're in another town, basically, when you're at the bottom of her driveway. Right. Right. Did they check your ID when you tried to get over there? Yeah. yeah. I had to bring my passport. Fuck. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It was long distance. What, did you declare sovereignty? Her. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, is this like a cat version of Brexit? I, Pretty much. I, I, I figure yeah. if anything, people would picture my house as the one in like the Adams family. All the trees are fucking dead over. Yeah, right. At this point, yeah. <laughs> I would trust Edward Scissorhands to water my garden more for you. You should. You should. <laughs> what have you done? Did you know that I killed? Did I ever tell you? I know Scott knows that I killed like my neighbors, my next door neighbors who moved away, probably because of me. And the sentence I, there. I killed. I killed my next door I neighbors. Ki- <laughs> Did I stop there? I killed their plants while they were away. Did I tell you about no. that? No. Yeah, like all my one job was to go water their plants. I told them I'm Wait not a good. Second. You've been and through I, this and hold on. You've been through this and still feel weird about asking somebody to water your yes. plants? Yes, I Why? do. Because I've done it now. I had so much anxiety and I killed like two of the, maybe there was like, there's a lot of plants. There's like eight to 12 maybe, but I killed two of them. Two How of them did were- you kill them? I don't know. I watered them the way she told me to. So I don't know, Dave. The answer is I don't you're know. Unreal. You're then, scraping off a layer of trauma <laughs> that, that she doesn't want to revisit. I, I, I was told, don't touch anything else. Just water this much. And she literally wrote notes. And then I was like, do I open the blinds or leave them closed? They were closed when I got there. So do I open them or is that too much sun for this plant? I don't fucking know about plants. I don't know. Neighbor comes home and she's like, I accidentally killed your couch too. <laughs> I'm not sure how. I was probably would have too. Like I'm not good with anything. Anything... I don't know. I, you are I, I just, a highly intelligent, yeah. uh, responsible, uh, full of leadership qualities, articulate, uh, brilliant. I mean, there's so many oh, different words I can you. use to describe you, but fuck, are you ever bad with bad. plants? And I don't get it. They don't like me. It's the easiest thing, water and sunlight. Like, I, it happens in nature. What? You don't even really have to intervene can I, can if I you just though? left it outside. Well, the My, weeds grow good. Well, of course. <laughs> they, you don't need to do anything for those <laughs> things to go thing. crazy. So my mom's a green thumb. Really great with it. Yeah. My wife, opposite. Com- yeah. I think she's similar to you. Really? Yeah. Like she'll water something and it somehow gets worse. Mm. I don't That's know, me. I don't know why. I swear. And I follow those stupid tab instructions, right? They give you those stupid things you stick in the plants. So They're very helpful. Plant- I don't know if I'd call them stupid. Yeah. Okay, That's exactly sorry, how you're supposed sorry. to take care Maybe of Maybe it. it's the way that I talk about them. But the instructions, I follow them and it says like this, do this, how much water, whatever. And I'll do that. It still dies. I don't know. I don't know. It's embarrassing is what it is. It's a, yeah. yeah. I Quite frankly, I want to move on to a different topic. Yeah, we're going to, too. <laughs> Let's talk about something else that grows in the wild. Boneless chicken wings are in the news again. We've had this debate before. We debate, by the way, Scott and I disagreed with this. So this will be interesting to see how Ooh, Dave feels. We I, disagreed with each other this to, morning. To, to the point where I shut the conversation down because I was going to say something he, uh, that I was yeah, mad at. Yeah, he was like, ex- okay, we're just going to talk about this in the podcast. It got that heated over, over this topic, okay. believe it or not. Believe it or not. We all I don't know un- if it was heated, but anyway. We all understand chicken wings. We know that each chicken has got four edible wings. You can you can have it all as one, or you can break them apart with the drums and the flats, right? We all know how chicken wings work. And then some restaurants came out with this weird variation called boneless wings. And boneless wings are essentially chicken nuggets. Would you agree? Yeah, little chicken tenders. So a person goes into, and this happened a few years ago. He lives in Ohio, went into a restaurant. He ordered boneless wings. One of them had a bone in it. He ended up choking on it. He developed an infection. It required two surgeries to get this guy back to right after he accidentally swallowed a chicken bone that was embedded in a boneless chicken nugget. So instantly, he's probably thinking, Call Diamond and Diamond. I got myself a personal injury case right here. I'm going to sue these people for millions. He sued the restaurant owners, the chicken supplier, and the chicken plant processor. The case went all the way to the state Supreme Court in Ohio in a divided four to three decision. <laughs> I can't believe that this is seriously. <laughs> like, if you're in the Supreme Court and somebody comes in front of you, it's like, I choked on a fucking chicken. Yeah. Bone. You're probably like, get out of here. Is like, there not a lower court that can deal with this? Why did I go to school for so many fucking years to deal with this? <laughs> this is a prestigious job. So many years. I've made my family proud and hearing him talking about chicken nuggets. Seriously, not even a JOP wanted this no. one? I'm like, come on, the Supreme Court, eh? In a four to three decision, the court ruled that boneless chicken 
can have bones. The majority said, quote, boneless chicken wings is actually a cooking style, not a guarantee. Just as a person eating chicken fingers would know that he has not been served the fingers of a chicken. They're suggesting that everything you've known about boneless wings is not true. It's just a cooking style, and if there happens to be a few bones in it, so be it. That's on you. So they're calling sort of semantics? Sort of semantics. Not to be taken literally when they call them boneless wings. That should not tell you that they are boneless. Wow. Isn't that messed up? Is that similar to like fat free has some fat and like low cal? Uh, Sure, it's low cal compared to something else that has a lot of calories. Is that kind of the same idea? I don't. uh, Maybe on the low cal one, the fat free. No. Boneless wings tell you there's no bones. It says right in the name boneless. Mm -hmm. Almond milk can still be called milk. For all the wrong reasons, though. <laughs> and now look what happened. Two people are dead. Nine others are in well, hospital. Well, that's a different situation. If they would have just that's drank or dairy, it would have been <laughs> fine. Uh, okay, so listen. Back to this. Cat actually thinks the court's right. Here's I think they're fucking loons. He, he, <laughs> I'm glad you told me what your stances are before letting me tell you what I thought. Well, we'll what get to you, you in a minute. Think? You just fucking literally... Well, now I know which sides you guys are on. It taints my, taints my opinion because if I go one way or the other, it's, oh, you were siding with so-and-so. Thanks, you ruined it. We now don't know how Cat feels yet. Dave, what do you think? <laughs> I don't tell you why I feel the way. I'll tell you and why I feel. I'm not even editing that part out. <laughs> yeah, like, damn it. <laughs> I'll tell you why I feel the way I feel. But do you want to go first no, or do you, you want ahead. me to No, go? no, no. I know where you stand. Go ahead. So uh, for me, I think we need to step up as human beings and be aware of what we're eating. This is, comes from an animal. That might shock people. You don't want to think about it when you're eating it. When you're eating wings, maybe you don't even think about it with the bones in, I mean. When you're eating boneless wings, it's not necessarily a guarantee you won't find some shit in there because stuff happens. Now, if there's a company that's constantly doing this, right, that's where you could step in and say, okay, this company's doing it wrong. Some some process is not being vetted along the way and the conveyor belt of boneless wings or whatever the fuck they do. Try the new but, Maple Lodge, maybe boneless. But I mean, when you crack open an <laughs> That's egg. What they call them, maybe boneless <laughs> chicken bites. When you crack open an egg, for example, you're not 100% guaranteed of what you're going to find. Like, anything to do with animals, hell, even to do with vegetables. When you make your go to make your salad, you can't be guaranteed there's not going to be a fucking bug in it because that's where they live. Animals have bones and sometimes they might be mixed and matched with the shit that's supposed to be boneless. But I think at a, at a certain point, we need to step up and take responsibility as humans to uh, realize these things. You're suggesting a more thorough chew would have solved this problem. I don't know. Mm. Listen, I'm the type of person that will, my husband fucking hates it, but I evaluate everything before I eat it. Like, you, What I, do you mean? You like, Do you stop, like pull it apart and look at it? I will look at it. Yes, I well, will look at everything. What eye test do you... That are you trying to get it to pass? I want to make sure it's fully cooked, for example. Like, uh-huh. if I'm eating chicken, I want to make sure there's no pinkness or anything looks weird on it. Um, <laughs> what a nerd. Sec- she doesn't even eat her chicken medium rare like normal people. <laughs> 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 but I do that, and it drives me crazy. Like, can't you just enjoy it? I'm like, no, because I want to make sure of what I'm eating. Like, for me, I look at it before I put it in my mouth or I inspect it. If, it, like, a bug goes in my drink, I notice it, and then I'm like, I can't drink that. He's like, just pull it, push the bug out and drink it. Yeah. No. I Like, for me, I just, I need to, no. No. And and this I'm guy really explaining it well. Shit. I just no. No. <laughs> I just no. You sound no, like it's Joe gross. Biden. To me it's tainted, right? <laughs> to me it's tainted. Again, if it's a company that's doing this over and over again, we need to look at their practices. We need to make sure that they're following all the rules. Like you can't find glass shards and shit. Like that is obviously those are products are going to be pulled. But if it's a one off, chickens have bones and chicken can be found in there. Don't eat fucking chicken then. Eat go vegan. Have some vegan nugs if you really don't want to find bone. If you find a bone in a vegan nugget, then, then you're on we problem. have a yeah, problem, problem, right? Yeah, like yeah. Not to good. me, you're eating animal. <laughs> it's not it's not cute. It's fucking gross. You're going to run into veins. Have you ever done that? Have you ever cut into a shitty steak and found a goddamn vein? I had one that literally flew up on the plate and drew blood everywhere. It was, I didn't eat the rest of it because I was so fucking disgusted. So like, but shit like that happens, right? You ever like, like, whoa, my dinner's doing tricks. You ever awesome. find a hard part in your sausage, people? Like, or chew on something and you're like, that texture doesn't add up. It's on us to figure what this shit out. What if the whole out. sausage is hard? Oh! Hey, hey, then you're doing your job. Am oh. I right? Am I right? What are you talking uh, about? You're doing a good right. job. Hey, spit on that thing. <laughs> 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 okay, so go ahead, Dave. I've said most of what I need to say. Go ahead. Uh, so the, so let me, just to reiterate, the court says that boneless chicken wings can have bones. That's correct. Okay. And, and it's unreasonable to even expect that it might not. 
I have a hard time with that. Yeah. <laughs> I really, really do. Yes, I get the whole you know what you're going to eat. Mm -hmm. But I also, there has to be a level of trust that I trust that the product they say they're giving me is the product that they're giving me. If it said random chicken pieces may contain bones, well, that's on me. But, <laughs> but, Did you put that on the back? Yeah. Random chicken pieces? Yeah. Deep fried. May contain bones. If they said that, then I'd be like, okay, there might be bones in here. But if you're like, hey, we went through the process to uh, bone these, and I don't mean like that. <laughs> I mean... A bone-free guarantee. I just, I, just know, I just know debone is the wrong word, so I'm just saying bone. When you want to bone that chicken uh, before you sell it, as a consumer, my assumption is that you did it right and you mm -hmm. took the bones out. Let me give you an example, Kat, because I still find it fascinating, this position you've taken. But now that I have a little context and that you're someone who likes to analyze every bite before you eat it, I, it does kind of make sense. This would never happen to you. Based on what the court is saying here, if I order a hot dog, and it's got a bone in it, that's a big problem. If I order a boneless hot dog, I shouldn't be surprised if there's a bone in it. So maybe everything... <laughs> that's what you're saying. Maybe no, everything, it's not. Maybe it's everything, not the same. Does everything need to be clarified? Yes. Like if you go to the store and you're buying soup and it's on the can it says boneless. <laughs> How? I'm here, to, I'm here to buy tomato soup. Boneless. How many tomato products soup. do you buy that aren't actually what they look like? Hamburgers have no ham uh, that we know of. Uh, hot dogs you are know not what's going on at that farm. Uh, hot dogs are not dog that we know of. But you know what I mean? A lot of things have titles that aren't necessarily the case. So to say that boneless wings aren't going to have any bits of bone, it's like having fish too. And fish can be boneless, right? They could de whatever, debone it or bone that And it'll fish. say that. <laughs> I know it's weird saying bone so many times. Yeah. But you're going to maybe come across a bone. And it sucks, by the way. When it's like a piece, sharp piece or something, that sucks. But again, like you're eating animal. Like, at the end of the day, you're choosing to eat animal. And that's a great choice for a lot of people. Fuck, I love my steaks. I love chicken. But except for when they I, have veins that shoot blood at you. Yeah, except for that. Well, that was a cheap, mm, cheap steak. Like, how recently had they killed this thing before they put it on your 20 plate? minutes? Like, <laughs> if, the, if the vein is still shooting blood out of it, it's got to be, but that's a fresh steak. I was a guest somewhere. I'll just say that much. Oh, it was at a it house? Was, a, I couldn't finish it, and then I think they were not happy. Have you been I invited back since? Yeah. Does yeah, it ever I, come up, the whole... No... <laughs> No, no. Hmm. I don't want to bring it up. They don't bring it up. Did they know that it uh, happened? I think so. Because they wondered, like, why aren't you finishing your steak? Is everything okay? And I said, no, actually, a vein just came up and slapped me in the face. So I'm, I'm just waiting for it to be <laughs> fully dead. I'll, I'll eat it when it's dead. <laughs> I'm waiting for the funeral to end. <laughs> <laughs> soon soon as the priest is done talking, I'm biting that leg. <laughs> still grosses me out. Oh, uh, that's great. Uh, if I wanted to, I haven't seen any of the Marvel movies. None of them. Not, like, not one, a single right? one, huh? No. Not Iron yeah. Man, nothing. P people find that interesting. Yeah. But actually, people find that red flaggy that I've never seen a Marvel movie, but I was never into comic books. It's a little serial killery. I don't think so. Yeah. I, I, I just never read the comic books. I didn't grow up with any of these Probably characters. Bones, chickens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This guy. This guy here. That's what he was doing. I'm a chicken <laughs> boner. <laughs> I, uh, I, I did see, like, the original Superman when I was growing up, okay. and I saw Spider-Man when it came out. When we get into all these newer ones, mm -hmm. I haven't seen any of them. But I hear everybody talking about Wolverine and Deadpool this weekend, and they say it's just going to smash records. Deadpool's great. What is Deadpool? Dead what is Deadpool? You aren't even aware? This is the third Deadpool movie? Well, th it says there's, like language and issues and stuff in this movie because oh, he so swears funny. and stuff. Yeah, I, it's so funny. It's very Ryan Reynolds. I mean, once you've seen Ryan Reynolds, you know how he acts. But but he's Deadpool. Deadpool, do you know what Deadpool means? Like what the origin is? No, that's why I'm asking you. Oh, good Lord. Um, so this... You can tell me to research on my own if you don't have time you, to explain You could, this. but in a short form... Why dead, don't you do your own research? Deadpool starts, I did enough of it during COVID, <laughs> thank you. They called him Deadpool because in the beginning he had uh, bets going with his friends on who's going to die first. They called it the Deadpool, okay? So that's oh. where he got the nickname. He ended up d dying for... I have to go back and watch the first one now because he ended up... And I know his comic books too, I could read it. But he ended up dying first. So he became dead, but as Deadpool. So then he had to go avenge shit. And then he brought his team with him, but it's like an odd bunch. He swears through it. It's it's really like, for Marvel, it was like a huge 
thing for them to include Deadpool because he's sarcastic. R-rated. He makes inappropriate jokes. The first R-rated one they've ever done. But it was so, and they were unsure if they even wanted to do it. But it's, then it did it's great. so well. Yeah, it, it was t- so good. By the way, it took them 10 years to get that made, the first Deadpool. Yeah, that's Because people right. were like, nope, yep. nope, won't, don't want to do it. It took Ryan Reynolds 10 years yep. to get that to up convince. and going. And then look at how much money it's yeah. made. It's made billions of dollars, that franchise yeah. alone. And he yeah. gets a cut of the box office too because he is yeah. Deadpool. He, I forget what it, I read. I maybe you know, Cat. He, he had some sort of a back end deal. Yes, on it. most so, of them do now. Yeah. Most of them do, especially those who involved in the MCU. So They're he all made involved. a ton. Yeah, off of that. Yeah, because and he didn't take it up front. He took the back end of it. So he took the back end of it. That sounds filthy. I like it with the chicken bone. (laughs) With with the chicken bone, and Hugh is the same way. By the way, Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine again is is astonishing. But he did it for Ryan. Like Ryan and Hugh did that together, so they both get a cut. Because he was out of it. He was out. He was done. Hugh Jackman was there. By the way, like Wolverine died, so I don't understand. Is that a spoiler? Like, I don't know. Well, I mean, I just said I haven't seen it. Well, Well, you're not going to. No, I'm not going to. Logan, Logan's is like a. That's like the end of time story for Wolverine okay. in this form because they're supposed to be the new mutants that come it's so we'll his, get an Scott's explanation eyes are glo- glo- glazing over I'm seeing point. it on Monday uh-huh. I think so I'll, I'll find out then okay what happens so no spoilers here guys is it I a theater movie seen? for you uh, yeah, like for me, I, probably. Yeah, it's big enough, probably. loud enough. It's yep. probably going to be one of those. I've, I've got heard that. A friend of mine bought tickets for like the AVX screening. Yes. Oh, really? 50 bucks for two tickets. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, that's just not cheap. If you stood outside the theater, you could probably sell them for 100 tonight. Yeah. Yeah, probably. People scalping movie tickets. That would be great. You know what, though? There's so many showtimes now. I was saying this on the air, too. There's you Look at any theater. There's a million showtimes for this show. So if you can't find a ticket this weekend, I'll be surprised. Is it like, only that in many. theaters? I or don't know. I thought I saw an no. ad for it on my on demand. No, man. It'll stream on Disney Plus. Yeah. Right? Eventually. Right. They're promoting that I think it, I thought it was Prime, but it might be Disney Plus. I don't remember. Might, you know I saw what? the yeah. same ad. They yeah. might have paid to have it on a bunch of places, right? As long as they're getting paid, they don't give a shit. The marketing is exceptional. Yeah, yeah it's like, been great. They're everywhere. Aren't they exhausted? You like would they were think. On, like they were on a million shows, and then he even gave a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame just yesterday. Oh, yeah. Kevin Feige, yeah, Feige got, Kevin, his, uh, yeah. got his star. Mm. The um, I want to talk about that uh, the woman with the big boobs in the bar. We're oh. gonna we're gonna get to that in a second. Oh, oh this is a great story, Dave. We got a lot of texts about that today. Uh, let me go with uh, let's go to Hamilton. Cops have a tough job, right? Mm-hmm. We understand police have a very very difficult job. Four Hamilton police <laughs> police officers had to be treated for smoke inhalation yesterday after a woman in distress charged them with a flamethrower. Whoa. She came out of the house, saw four <laughs> cops, went back in the house, flamethrower. What the fuck? Is this the devil's rejects? What is this? Seriously, right? <laughs> fuck you! Yeah. She had a fucking flamethrower. <gasps> Turns out they're not hard to make. I Googled this. You can, like, hook oh. up a power washer or a pressure washer to, like, a propane tank and light it up and it was bam. A, was it a homemade one or did she get, like, a good one? No, I think it was, like, one of those homemade jobbies. They wow. didn't release a whole lot of details because it was a woman in distress, so usually they don't. I right. hope she's okay. Like, I hope there's nothing And the cops are uh, no, The cops are being treated, like you said, though. Smoke inhalation, not burns. Okay, good, so good. So that's good. I mean, <laughs> as good as it could be, I guess. How, how do you tell your, your, your significant other that when you get home from work? Hey, honey, how was work? Yeah, I'd hit with a fucking flamethrower yeah. today. <laughs> Somebody shot a flamethrower at me, yeah. You know, so like, that. That's yeah. messed up. Completely messed up. That is messed up. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go to the bar here. <laughs> Baton Rouge? We're going down to Louisiana. Louisiana woman kicked out of a nice steakhouse for wearing a two-piece tube top set that the owner claimed was too revealing. The woman, who I did look into and is quite large-breasted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's got the big boobies. How did you end up with that assignment to research this person? <laughs> I pick my own stories. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> the uh, the woman was kicked out of Stabs Prime Steak and Seafood in Baton Rouge. On Going Tuesday. down to Stabs. <laughs> what a name. Well, it it's is. a steakhouse, right? <laughs> Hit it. Stab, <laughs> do you Stab-a-rios. stab your, your steak? <laughs> and she was there on stab Tuesday. Stab the fucking cow. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it was a sunflower print. With a frilly tube top and a long A-line shirt. A-line is the, the revealing one. That's the plunging neckline that shows off the, the fun makers. An upside-down V? 
The Fun Makers? Did you just call them the Fun Makers? Well, I was trying to figure out what you would call them. So what do you got there? Titties. Titties. <laughs> is that what women will call them? Like, do women what have What do women the, call them? Like, because guys are, guys are always thinking about, like, how there's, to, there's how to cla- say it classy and think of, um, think of ways to I not mean, say it I mean, you could say breasts. I don't think anyone would ever get mad at you for saying breasts, but if that feels funny to you, I think boobs are fine. Right? If you t- say boobies, you sound too immature. Tatas. You say tatas, it sounds like knockers. <laughs> knockers. There's about- so many words for it, though. Oh, I know. It's How about amazing. Chesticles. Chest. Well, I never liked that Not one. Chesties. I think of testicles. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the point. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, fair enough. I don't want testicles. Well, no. Anyway, okay. What? Stop. <laughs> Finish stop. That sentence stop. First. Stop. <laughs> Shut up. You're baiting me, you fucks. She says, Keep going. their waitresses can wear mini skirts with, with their butt hanging out and their fishnets, but my set is too revealing for the atmosphere they're trying to create. This is what she wrote on Facebook. She also added, never again. I'm done with stabs. She says, the hostess was about to seat her when a woman, when the woman claims the owner stopped them on the way to the table. They had a dispute about what was uh, what was being worn here. The owner told the woman, who is a nurse practitioner, her top was too revealing. She had to leave. Do you know what he said first? What? Oh, <laughs> And he looked like one of those old, old cartoons where the eyes pop out. <laughs> 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 So childish. <laughs> so that that is a really interesting story. So this woman gets kicked out, even though their staff dresses in a way that is maybe That's more the revealing. interesting part to me. Because it, it would be one thing if it's like, yeah, this is a super upscale place. Titties are not here. Um, we don't want no cleavage here. But it's kind of hypocritical if your staff is not like fully... I don't know. It, a, okay. I, I'm going to use the term appropriate, but you know what I mean? Yeah. The, there's different li- levels of steakhouse these days. Even that has turned into subgenres. So if you go to a traditional steakhouse, maybe you go to like Jacob's or something like that, staff are dressed very professionally. Even when you go to the keg, they're wearing pants dress shirt. and a dress shirt mm-hmm, yep. mm-hmm. and an apron. Mm-hmm. Some steakhouses, a little more like a club atmosphere. Like if you go yeah. to STK in, well, they're all over the world, but there's one in Yorkville in Toronto. Yeah, they're dressed a... Uh, a little more provocatively. It's a little more loosey-goosey, but it fits with the atmosphere that they're going for. I get the impression this is a fairly contemporary steakhouse. I mean, 175 bucks for a tomahawk is not a cheap steak, Mm-mm. so I don't think they're bringing in a whole lot of kids or anything like that to this restaurant. But yeah, the waitresses are able to wear uh, tights, for example. They're able to wear shorts with pantyhose, and if they wear fishnets, then yeah, those are pantyhose, technically. So anyway, this woman thinks... It's bullshit that these these waitresses can run around with their butt hanging out, but me, a large-breasted woman in a tube top, gets flagged and told to leave. Mm-hmm. Is that it's not her fault? She's got large breasts. That's a good point, actually. It's not for me. I I try to reason out why they have the policy they have. It. I'm sure every establishment has a policy. Do we ever see it? Is it advertised? No. But they can pull that out when people are inappropriate. Like if you walked into a restaurant with like no pants for some fucking reason, either of you, of course they're going to turn you away. But they have that policy to fall back on. In this case, it does seem weird because I looked at the dress. It's like a lovely dress. There's nothing wrong with it. Is it? Bo- are they worried it's bothering other people? Yes. Like. For me, I wouldn't care what someone else in the table next to me is wearing. Like, unless, if, like I said, unless it's inappropriate and there's like a man without pants or someone that tried to come in that's really, really inappropriate. But that's not inappropriate to me. Doesn't seem like it. I don't get it. Manager having a bad day? Didn't like the fact that it turned him on this top? I don't know. What's who, the problem here? Who fucking knows? We used to say that about some of our teachers, like looking back now in high school because we had uniforms, right? So if our kilts were too short, there was a couple of teachers in particular, men, who would be so strict about it that would be like, how? one actually said to me, how dare you walk into my classroom? Uh, get to the principal's office immediately. But it wasn't that bad. Like, like the, to the point where- the, How dare you turn me on like but, that? Uh, no, then we realized a lot of these people were probably fucking gross and just pissed them off. Or they were having a bad day. That could yep. be it too. They, this manager could have been having a bad day and just decided to take it out on this woman. The good news is, you could, hey, at least she did it. She was told to get out. Now she could tell her story and other people can avoid that restaurant if they don't think it's fair. Mm-hmm. There's also there's also context that's probably missing from the story. Maybe. Like, to be fair, just to be fair, we don't know. Like we have her version of the story. Yeah. We don't know if there was another side, if she was acting silly. I, I don't know. Was she drinking? Was she acting inappropriate in public? We don't know that part. 
Yeah. And if the answer is no, then yeah, she's she's got a, an absolute case here mm-hmm. to say something. Yeah, I, I don't. I'm just wondering. I just don't know the whole story. I never look at the people beside me. When I'm at a restaurant, I'm so focused on what? the person I'm with. I don't give a shit who else is there. I don't care. I don't care if Kim wearing? Kardashian is sitting next to me. I'm probably not even going to notice. Yeah, that's my point, too, is like, what's the policy there for? You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's is it, I always thought it was just a backup. If someone came in with like, you understand not wearing baseball hats, for example, in fancy restaurants. Sure. And that's a policy. So they'll probably tell someone to take it off. I get it. But what is it really for? Is it disturbing your other customers? I, ask around. Like, I, if all, I was that woman, I'd be like, am I bothering you wearing this? It's and prestige. I said, no. It's wanting to be known as a certain level of prestige. Right. That's all it is. But then you have waitresses who are wearing fucking booty shorts. So I don't understand. Uh, like, it just doesn't math. They sell it. They're the ones. They're the only ones. Okay. Yeah. In their establishment, they're the it's only ones who can funny. sell it. Speaking of which, it's 2024. Are restaurants still enforcing the no ball caps? I mean, mm. my mom used to make me take my, my hat off before I ate, and that was always a, a respectful thing right. that I had to do when I was growing up. Yep. And, and me personally, when I go out for dinner, even if I go to some like mid-level restaurant, I'll still put in the effort and get somewhat dressed up. Because mm-hmm. I think you should if you're going to go out. It's an occasion. Mm-hmm. But if I go into a, a bar after work or after the Jays game and I pop into one of the bars downtown Toronto and they have a policy, no ball caps, fuck you. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Yeah. Not at all. But I don't know why we're still enforcing that. It's not like a, a slacker kind of thing anymore. But some hats fit nice. Look at this cap that Dave's wearing. He looks yeah. like a million bucks. Some yeah. people do that with sandals too. Some restaurants do that with sandals. No open Specifically toes. men. Yeah, I you find can't wear, man, men can't are the one. Flops. Yeah, men are usually the targets for that. Like women with nice looking sandals, like not flip flops or anything, but like nice looking sandals, fine. But men with their open toes, get that shit out of here. You know what's the most annoying? I, I, I appreciate that. I don't want to see another but dude's that, feet that while I'm eating. That said, yeah, like I get it. What about the uh, resorts when you, if you go on vacation? Those um, always and get and me. They're like, you must wear pants. I'm like, it's, it's 55 <laughs> degrees <laughs> outside. So, my dad like refuses. Oh. He's like, if they're gonna make me wear pants and it's fucking 80, 85, yeah, it's too much. fuck that place. I'm yeah. not going. I'm gonna do the buffet again. And I'm like, yeah, yeah totally, I get it. But you only get so many a la carte. You can't waste it. I know. So you have to sit there with like with pants on. I feel bad for you guys because like I could wear a sundress in there. Nobody gives a shit. But for guys, you have to be a certain thing. I'm gonna start bringing a kilt. That's a good idea. Sure. I appreciate that policy. I think if you're going to go to the fancy restaurant in fucking Porta Plata, then yeah. you should dress like you're going to the fancy restaurant in Porta Plata. All right, but it's not. It's not that fancy. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> for Here it's them, like a, it is. For there, in that specific resort, in that present time, it is. Okay? Here it's like comparable to like a Kelsey's or something Correct. like that. Yeah. yeah we all know. Food's still great. We all know. Today, the biggest sporting event in the world gets underway. The 2024 Summer Olympics yes. begin. Just before we get too far down the road here at the Olympics, I just want to say one thing, a couple things. Number one, to our Canadian athletes, when you think about it, they've trained their entire Mm -hmm. life for this. Mm -hmm. Their entire life. When when you get up every day and jump in the shower, maybe walk your dog, get dressed and go to that workplace for eight hours every day. They're doing the same yeah. thing, except they're riding a fucking bike around in circles or they're swimming a thousand laps in the pool. Like they put everything they've got into being there at this moment and win or lose, whether they medal or not, they were still good enough to compete against the best in the world. And I think that even though every athlete won't come home with a medal, we should treat them all like they did. I'm going to tag on to that and saying, don't be that fucking asshole that's sitting on your couch like a dirty bitch eating chips. Oh, my God. Saying. Oh, I'm just getting angry, eh? Listen. Because, listen, you're absolutely right. They train hard. So don't be that person that's sitting there going, oh, that wasn't very good. Oh, they're not very fast. I can oh, throw that shot put God, lots further. Oh, that spike was awful. You know, anything like that, shut your fucking mouth. Shut your fucking mouth. And just be appreciative of those athletes. Thank hmm. you. All right. And that's the new final sentence in O Canada. <laughs> <laughs> One other thing I want to say about shut it. Your mouth. Yeah. God keep our land. It's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Do well at the Olympics. It's <laughs> better than you. Yeah. It is a national embarrassment that we got caught again flying drones Awful. over another team's practice. But you can bitch at them, by the way. Those people, I yeah, will let you say, they're fucking stupid. Not good. I will also say, though, this has nothing to do with the players. Everybody around the team has confirmed that the players never saw that video footage that was filmed from the drone. It was only the analysts and the coaches that oh. saw it, and that's part of the reason now the head coach, Bev Priestman, has been sent home. 
Imagine that. You got caught mm. cheating at the Olympics so badly. So embarrassing. They, they deported you before the opening ceremonies even begin. So embarrassing. And it makes us all look stupid. And I feel bad because, I mean, we beat New Zealand last night, the women's soccer team. And what's frustrating here is there's going to be an asterisk on it. If they go on and win a medal, and they could even win gold, they're a great soccer team. There's going to be an asterisk on it. No one's going to think it's legit because of this. And that's why I hate that we did this. Let's just beat them on skill. We don't need to cheat. How would you think you w- wouldn't get caught? I wonder if that's you. you were flying a drone over their practice. You didn't think somebody was going to look up and say, huh, is, that's weird. Well, you know yeah. what that tells me is that they probably did do it and didn't get caught the last time. Like nobody just does that for the first time at the Olympics. I feel like ah, they've done point. this previous to this, gotten away with it, and thought we can do it again. Unless when they got there, they were doing some like sightseeing, and they found a drone store. <laughs> and, oh, let's walk in here. And they I believe drone. it's le drone store. Oh, le drone. <laughs> le drone. <laughs> yeah, they don't even say drone. It's <laughs> le drone. Le <laughs> drone. How many events are the are there at the Olympics, Dave? Ooh, take a the, guess. Ooh, oh. How many different events? I'm going to say 176. 329 Whoa. events. Well, That's more that than many. I thought too. How many different sports do we play? Me won. <laughs> just softball. <laughs> just softball. <laughs> did you win the other night, by the way? Yeah, we did. Good for Yay. you. Yeah, we did. We're on a, I, I hate to say this because it's going to jinx it. We're on a three-game win streak. Wow. Good job. I got to think there's room for you at Rogers Center because when you get trounced 13 oh. nothing, and then have to go in and play the World Series champs the next night, it's, a, it's not a very good time here for Blue Jays fans. No. Like, send help if, if you're <laughs> listening in any other market that has a good baseball team. Did you hear um, that... They're the Jays are not shopping the big players at the deadline. They're going to try to go for it. So here, here's the biggest problem with Toronto, and it must be unique to Toronto because I don't know any other cities that continuously do the same thing but expect a different result. Mm-hmm. We all have fan favorites. Everybody does. There's people out there that adore Mitch Marner and William Nylander and Austin Matthews. One of them's got to go. We know that. And Toronto just doesn't want to seem to pull the trigger. With the Jays, they're just an awful baseball team right now. We thought they'd get better after the break. And no, they just lost 13-0 yesterday. They lost 2-3 out of against Tampa Bay. They're playing Texas this weekend. We all know they got to make changes. Vladdy, Bo, uh, Chris Bassett. I mean, there's lots of players that would attract a good trade that could help them rebuild. And they won't fucking do it. I don't understand why. They just want to sell more jerseys? Is that it? They want to make money 100 bucks at a time? Well, it's a bigger business plan, right? It's a bigger business model than just what happens on the field. For years, people used to get upset. Remember the Harold Ballard years for the Leafs? Oh, yeah. People used to say they don't care about the product on the ice. They care about the money that comes in. Mm. And there's a lot of people that feel that there's a similar kind of a situation going on now. But I also think that with the renovations, with everything that they've been doing at Rogers Center, they're trying to get people excited to be in the building. And right now, it's a tough spot because the product isn't great. No, so it's terrible. It's awesome to go and sit at the new layout of Rogers Center. It's amazing to see the, mm-hmm. the ballpark from a different angle that you may have never seen before. But the product's not great, so I don't really want to go and sit there and watch a 13 nothing loss to Tampa. Except for that $20 general admission. I mean, that's just pretty good. It's not bad. <laughs> but not those, bad. You got to go early, and those seats fill up fast. That's, that they do, yeah. There are 32 different sports at the Olympics, in case you're wondering. Really? Okay. Well, with all those events, I would have thought there'd been more. 32 sports, 329 different events, including four sports they're testing out this year. Dave, will you watch any of the skateboarding, sport climbing, break dancing, or surfing competitions? Yeah. I'm definitely oh, yeah. watching, I think, probably all of those. But definitely break dancing. I'm super curious. Are they that. calling it breaking? They are. I think it's just called breaking. Yeah, breaking. Okay. So... If you're not good at it, I'd be are breaking you breaking all my bad? Bones. Oh. <laughs> ah. do, 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 if I did it or attempted it, I would be breaking every bone. 5,000 medals are going to get handed out. Each one of them has over half an ounce of iron that is from the Eiffel Tower. Cool. You're taking Bad-ass. home a piece of Paris with you. So cool. So does that mean the tower is going to fall over any minute now? What's holding it up if we took all those grams of iron I don't think iron they go with there. a saw and a bucket and start going at the bottom of it. <laughs> start from the bottom and work your way up. That'll do. Yeah. These instructions say to cut down the yeah. sea Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Since early May, they've had the Olympic torch winding its way to Paris. Took over three months and 10,000 torchbearers. One of the final people to touch it before they light the Olympic cauldron is Snoop Dogg. Love it. And I swear to God, the one that he's lighting looks like a joint. 
the 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 torch looks like a joint to begin with. It's like they extra jointed it up for the Snoop Dogg. <laughs> does does he light up a joint with the torch? If he doesn't, he's missing an opportunity. That is the most boss hog move ever. If he pulled that off, do you know how many countries are watching that at once too? I assume that they're still going to zoom in on Snoop Dogg, even if it's like I don't know a Netherlands broadcaster or any any type. Well, Netherlands is a bad example because they definitely would be good with this weed smoking. But do you think that they zoom in on Snoop in every country? Or do you think there's some countries watching that are like? Who the fuck is that guy? Like Uzbekistan like, broadcast it's, it's, is like, here's a man who looks like a salamander yeah. carrying. <laughs> Honestly, though, it's true. It's true. It's a very like North American. I mean, I know in Paris, all these people are famous. You're from your, you know, Lady Gaga and Celine Dion's who are apparently going to be singing during it. Great. To anyone else, any number of celebrities who are going to be in and around. They're still known. It looks as if the. But not uh, by every country. It looks as if the American delegates are carrying the torch via. A senior citizen who <laughs> is is it is it Groot? Is that from the <laughs> from the Guardians of the Galaxy? I gotta let me use my Google image search and yeah. see if I can figure out who this person is. And why does it stink in here all of a sudden? <laughs> like weed. The whole building is just one big hot box. Some countries it's legal, some countries it's not. It's a very interesting mix. If you are an athlete though, do you see this and go, Well, why can I carry the, the torch? Who's the hell Snoop Dogg? What did he do? Well, they do it because they have a mix of celebrity and athletes and past athletes. Like, it doesn't even have to be athletes competing that take part in some of it. But they do the celebrity thing for awareness. Because okay. we're talking, look, we're talking about it. I, Who fucking really cares about the torches? Look. I kind of do. I like, mean, isn't that part I mean, of the pageantry of it? Sh- sh- sure. But are you sitting there and watching, like, the torch Unless you're in there, like unless you're like, hey, the torch is being passed. Let's say it's taking place in Toronto, and hey, it's coming by near your house. Maybe you go see it. But otherwise, like it's not like you're gonna watch it on TV up until the opening ceremony. So really, really, mm, huh? I'm not. I don't care to watch that. No. Really? Oh, yeah. we've learned that Cat hates Canada, and it has nothing Olympics. to. It has zero to do with Canada, though. And is my point. National pride. What oh, about for all fuck's those? sake? They might deport you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Why don't you go to France and stay there? <laughs> <laughs> I Silk and Lawman's rolling around in her grave. I wouldn't mind. Uh, I want to read a follow up text message from yesterday. I, I hit you with a big song from the 90s yesterday, Kat, and your millennial little mind was like, What's this? And, and I tried to explain, but apparently I messed up. So oh. this is from Brad. Scott, as a big 90210 fan and expert, Embarrassingly, I know this. I feel obligated to let you know that the lead singer from the Heights song is Jamie Walters. He was on 90210 as Donna's boyfriend and played a whole bunch of his songs on the show. Then they turned his character into an abusive boyfriend and the fans got so outraged they threw d- that he threw Donna down the stairs. They ended up firing him from the show. The fans couldn't understand that the actor is not abusive. It was just the character. They ruined him. He's a firefighter or EMT in California wow, now. Wow, lots of drama. Do you remember the spinoff? The reboot of, of the 90210? No, oh, of Heights. I, I do remember I was excited. It. Do you remember the theme so song? <laughs> so I played it in the pod yesterday. Okay. We were talking about, That's what you're talking about. 90 songs and I played it and, and I had to explain it to her. So a couple of things have come from that. <laughs> With the reboot of 90210, I just get really excited. You heard No, about it all. no. Sorry, guys, I watched that. Going back to going back to the heights. Oh. Anyways, the I don't even know what the fuck that is. You guys go ahead. I feel compelled to tell you that I did inadvertently yesterday promise the listeners that at some point I'll come in on like a long weekend and do like a one hour ninety show. So oh. you're gonna have to find room in the programming schedule for that somewhere. That's your problem, That'd though. That's fun. not mine. I didn't mean to do it, but it's your problem now. So. How do you talk to an angel? See, everybody knows this song. How do you everybody not know this? Everybody does it know this song. Do you know how many fucking DMs I got yesterday? It was crazy. It's crazy. (laughs) I'm... (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Uh, This is the last episode before the summer break. Mm -hmm. We are going to be off the pod, still on the radio, but off the pod for the month of August. 
We're going to return the Tuesday after Labor Day, and then we're going to hit you hard with a whole bunch of new After 9 episodes. Tons. And a reminder, too, um, we're on in the mornings at 91.5 The Beat out of Kitchener, Energy 95.3 out of Hamilton, uh, in London, uh, 3 to 6 p.m., and in Barrie as well. But you know what? You can you can listen to us through the iHeartRadio app if you don't live close to any of those places. Just look for us. So many people do. I mean, there's listeners literally from coast to coast to coast of After 9 and the radio shows. And if you're one of them, thank you. We're just taking some time off. It'll be nice to leave work when we're done work and not do the extra for a little bit. But we also want to we want to test out some other things and and try out some new stuff and we'll see how it goes. And so Scott wants to see what the golf course is like at 10 a.m. Yes, he does. I've never been he's able to excited. do that. I think he's already booked his tee times in August, haven't you? I've got seven in a row booked because we're on vacation this week. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you golfing that much? Uh, yeah, I'm playing today at 120. Wow. You're not that excited for me. All right. So No, I'm not because I wasn't invited. So no, <laughs> You're I'm, always invited. I didn't actually just, invite you. I'm just but supposed you to know show up at up. just a random golf course you're and hope that you're there. Stalk your calendar and be like, well, look what Scott's doing. I'll join him. I just show up at a course and just start yelling, Scott. Scott! <laughs> Scott! Is Scott here? <laughs> Every golfer's like, you shut up. <laughs> if you find the right course, though, I will yell back, Polo! Yeah, That's there you go. Know. Good. Who do we owe an apology to here, Dave? The first apology is owed to all them hoes. Um, <laughs> the na, 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 na. Yeah. <laughs> he comes up a lot in this pod. Um, we also have to, jeez, uh, damn, like we had no idea plants had it so bad at Cat's house. We are beyond sorry. Really bad. Did not know. Anyone who has to walk up the uh, long winding driveway at Cat's house yeah. for any it, reason, <laughs> if you're like a service person or if you're uh, there for lawn maintenance or, or whatever it may be, the, for the Amazon drivers and stuff, I've thought a few times yeah. they should put a gas pump right at the top of the driveway just in case they run out on the way to the house. I saw that she had a yes. charging station at the bottom of the driveway for anybody Shut who drives like a Tesla up. or anything. It's or huge, electric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. An EV vehicle. Shut yeah. the fuck up. It's, it's pretty impressive. Not true. It's like an inn at the bottom Don't of the listen driveway. listen to them. Like you have to have an Carry on. Stay <laughs> Carry in order to get on. to Cat's house on time. Honest to God. <laughs> Deep regrets to chickens without bones. We're sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's and the chicken, chicken that had and no bones. Chickens that get bone. Yeah, yeah, we do need to apologize to the chickens who get like, bone on a regular basis. <laughs> Crossbreed a chicken with a jellyfish. Oh, oh. Oh. What the fuck? How, how would you pull that off? Oh, I don't know how that would work. Who would do what to what? And, and is the jellyfish out of water or is the chicken in the sea? Yeah. Chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea gets <laughs> fucked by Maybe chicken octopuses. Of- <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a chicken of the sea is a chicken who, who mated with a, a jellyfish. Oh, Maybe yeah. that's what that is. And that's what that is. All right. Well, I'm sorry that it took so long for us to figure that out. That's well, a we're fair smart. apology. In a I'm roundabout smart. kind of way, that's kind of what happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry to all the people who hate the word bone. We did say it a lot in this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so remorseful. Sorry, to, not sorry. Is so remorseful to anyone who has served a, a steak to cat and she had spit it out on the plate Blech. in disgust and embarrassment. Regards to uh, our ode to flamethrower enthusiasts, we yeah. really didn't give that woman much uh, much credit for having a flamethrower to begin with. Uh, how do you show how sorry you are to women with large sized, maybe even pendulous breastuses? Oh, breastuses is what yeah. you want. I was curious what you're going to use. Yeah, I think that's a good one. I think sure. that's fair. Yeah. We have to say sorry to all the athletes that Kat doesn't respect enough to have them carry the torch <laughs> at the Olympics. I, why are we twisting everything today? You want me to continue? Yeah. We you interrupted the apologies. Yeah. You should apologize. Sorry. Oh, we apologize God. to everybody that the apologies are going as long as they have. The cat keeps interrupting. I... Uh, <laughs> uh, I do have one very important apology to do at the end. So you let me know if you need to uh, if you need to interrupt anymore. You better get it out of the way now. You done? I, I mean, I personally like to apologize to Mike Tyson. Well, that's what I was going to do, but you... I, if I'm going to interrupt, I'm going to do it you right. You might as well do it. <laughs> Go for it, cat. <laughs> If for no other reason, just because it's a good idea. Bye. Have a great summer, everybody. We'll see you after Labor Day.